Hello everyone, welcome back to CS for All. So today we are going to do the fourth problem from the STL module of the Algo Master Sheet. So it's a problem which you can find in lead code and I won't be telling you the concept right now. So I will read the question once and I would ask you to think about the solution on your own. If you get the solution, that's great. If you can't get the solution, think of it twice or thrice. I hope you will get to the solution on your own. And even after thinking, if you are still stuck, you can continue watching with the video. So let's get started. Hi again, so let's read the question here. You are playing a solitaire game with three piles of stones, A, B and C. Okay, so we have three piles of stones. Okay, so there are three piles of stones placed next to each other. Okay, each turn you choose two different non-empty piles. Okay, so we have to choose in each turn two different non-empty piles. Okay, take one stone from those two different non-empty piles and add one point to our score. Okay. The game stops when there are fewer than two non-empty pipes. Okay, got it. So given three integers, A, B and C, return the maximum score you can get. Okay. So basically we have three piles of stones. Okay. And we have to consider two piles of stones in one step. Okay. In every step, we have to consider two piles of stones. Take one stone from each of the pile and add one point to our score. Okay. The game stops when, when there are fewer than two non-empty piles okay so i hope you got the question so let's go to the miro board and understand it better with an example so we will always have three piles of stone okay so let's say the first pile has two stones in it okay the second pile has four stones in it okay so let's draw them and the third pile has let's say six stones in it okay so five and then six okay so what is the question saying us to do we can take we can consider any two piles among this three okay we can consider any two piles among this three we can consider this and this or maybe we can consider this and this or maybe we can consider this and this okay so any combination okay fine now let's suppose we consider this pile and this pile so from each of these piles we take one stone Okay, so I take the stone, I take the stone, okay, and I add one point to my score. So let's say this is my score and I add one point. Fine. So this stone is removed, this stone is removed. Okay, now one step is over. So in the next step, let's say I'm considering this pile and this pile. So I take one stone from each, I take this stone and this stone, okay, and I add a point to my score. Fine. Again, I consider two piles of stone. Okay, so let's say I am considering this pile and this pile okay i'm considering this two piles so i take a stone from here i take a stone from here okay done i add a point here fine now this pile of stone is finished right this is completely eliminated i used two stones from this pile now what remains this two pile remains right and how many stones is there there are three stones here and there are three stones here okay so how many stones can we take in each step two stones one from here one from here score added one again one from here one from here score added one again one from here one from here score added one okay so when does the game stops when we cannot make a move anymore so the game stops here so what is the score the score is one two three four five and six okay so we have to find the maximum possible score okay so i hope you understood the question i will be taking one more example Let's say we have four, four and six. Okay. So I, this time I will be just writing numbers four, four and six. So in this pile, there are four stones in this pile. There are four stones in this pile. There are six stones. Okay. So let's say I consider this first pile. Let's name them. Okay. Two and three. These are the three piles. So in the very first step, I consider first and the second pile. Okay. So I remove one from each. What is the score? The score is one. Okay. Again, let's consider first and second pile. So I remove one from each. So what is the score? Score added is 1 plus again. Again, the first and the second pile, I remove one from each, score added is 1. Again, let's say I remove one stone from the first and second pile. So the first and second pile becomes empty. Now I have six stones in the third pile. But do I have any other pile? I do not have any other pile. I at least need two pile to carry on a step. I have only one pile. That is the third pile. So my entire game stops here and what is the maximum score I can gain? The maximum score I can gain is 1 plus 1 plus 1, that is 3. So this is the thing which we need to do. We have to maximize the score. So I hope you understood the question completely. Now we will head over to the solution. But I encourage you to solve the question on your own. Think of it. 
do a hit and trial for two three times i can guarantee you will get to the solution on your own so if you have tried on your own and still couldn't get to the solution continue watching with the video so again there are three possibilities of considering the piles of stones so let's say we have three piles right so the first pile is let's say two then the second pile is three then the third pile is four so what options do we have first option is we can pick up the piles with the highest number of stones so we can pick up two piles with the maximum number of stones so what are the two piles here three and four right so this is possibility one what is second possibility second possibility is we can pick up two piles with the minimum number of stones so what are the minimum number of stones two and three right so we can pick this two piles third possibility is we can pick up any random pile okay we can pick up two and four or maybe three and four or maybe two and three okay so any random pile in any step okay so these three possibilities are what we are going to figure out okay we are going to dry run through these three possibilities so let's do that so as we said we have three examples so for the first possibility that is picking up the maximum piles okay so two three and four okay okay so let's say we pick up from four and three and i will be making a score here okay so we pick up from four and three so what's remaining two and three right okay done and score is one okay then we pick up from the maximum two what are the two maximum two and three right so we pick up from them again so it becomes one and two right and we add a score of one here now what are the two maximum the two maximums are two and two right we pick up one from them so what it becomes one 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 right and we add a score of one here now what are the two maximums we can pick any of them once right so let's pick this two ones right and this two becomes zero and this becomes one okay and we add a score of one here now can i continue any more we cannot continue any more from here because we don't have two piles remaining we have only one pile and we cannot go any further with one pile okay so this is the maximum score we can reach out to if we consider maximum piles at every step okay so this is four okay now let's consider the minimum piles in every step so we had two three and four right so what is and we have a score here okay so what is a minimum two and three right so let's pick them okay and add a score here again what is the minimum one and two right so let's pick them and add a score here okay now what is the minimum okay so zero it's totally gone right so we cannot pick up from here the minimum would be one and four right so let's pick from here and here okay so add a score up here now can we move any further with this current combination no because we only have one pile left we do not have two piles left so we cannot move any further so what is the score this time the score is three and last time the score was four okay now let's try picking up random piles okay let's try picking up random piles so two three and four and a score here okay so let's pick up two and four okay two and four so it becomes three and it was three right now let's pick up three and three and okay i have to add a one score here okay now let's pick up three and three so what do we have we have two and two and we have one and we add a score here now let's pick up two and two okay so what do we have we have one and one so add one here okay now let's pick up this one and this one okay so this one zero and zero and we have got a one here so this we cannot move any further with this so this score is four and four okay so what we can see is if we pick maximum piles okay if we pick maximum piles we get a score of four and in this combination we picked up random piles and we are getting a score of four okay so that's quite contradicting so so we need one more example to get the things right okay so let's do that so let's see let's see one eight and eight so for, we will do for first for the maximum and then for random and we won't do for the minimum one because that has already been eliminated in the last round okay so let's see the score is s okay let's pick the maximum here eight and eight that would become seven and seven and this will become one score of one here again seven and seven would become six and six this will be one and score of one again here Again, this will be six six will give me five five score of one here four four score of one here three three score of again one here two and two again score of one here one and one again score of one here and finally we had one here right again one and one this will give me a zero and a one score here so can we further move with this combination no because we only have one pile left so what is the total score here one two three four five six seven eight okay so total score is eight this time for the maximum for for picking up the maximum piles okay now let's pick up random piles so let's say one eight and eight okay so let's pick up one and eight okay so that becomes what zero and seven 
and this is 8, right? So the score is plus 1 here for this removal and this removal. Now what I can see from these two figures here is if I continue 7 more steps, this will be completely eliminated and this will be 0 and this will become 1, right? And here 7 will be added because in 7 steps, in 7 steps, we will be adding 1 each, right? So 7 will be added. So this will also be a maximum score of 8, right? Now one flaw with this particular approach of picking random piles is it will depend on the piles which you are picking. Okay, it will depend on the piles which you are picking. You might get a score of 2 as well. You might get a score of 8 as well. Okay, so it totally depends on the combination you pick. But by picking maximum piles every time, that is in every step, that guarantees me the maximum score possible. So we will be going on with picking the maximum piles in every step. Okay, and we will eliminate this approach as well. Okay, so let's go to the solution now. How can we execute this? So what we can do is we can take a max heap and as we said, uh, if we have 4, 4, 6, okay, so we will be inserting all of them into the max heap. So 4, 4, 6 and we will be taking a score up here. So what we will do, we will be picking up the topmost element that is the maximum element. We will eliminate them. We will eliminate them here. They will come outside 4, 6. We will reduce them by 1, okay. So this will become 3 and 5 and we will add a score here and again we will push 3 and 5 back into the max heap okay so what we will have here we will have four three five okay again what are the maximum elements four and five right so maximum elements are four and five so i have to uh, bring them out so four and five i bring brought them out i will reduce them by one okay i will add a score up here and i will again push them into the heap okay i push them into the heap what is the heap now the heap is three three 4. What are the maximum elements? 3 and 4, right? I bring them out. I reduce them by 1. So 2 and 3, they become. And again, I push them into the heap, right? And the score will be plus 1 here. What is the max heap now? Max heap is 3, 2, and 3, right? What are the maximum elements? 3 and 3, right? I bring them out. Okay, I bring them out. I reduce them by 1. So this becomes 2, this becomes 2. And I push them back again okay and score is plus one okay so what is the score right now score is four i will be writing this up somewhere else because the space is getting congested and what do we have here we have two comma two comma two in the max if okay so the score is four and we have two comma two comma two in the max if okay we pick up two max elements we bring them out two comma two we reduce them by one we add a score here and push them back okay so these two were eliminated what do we have now? 1, 2, 1. What is the maximum element? This one, this one, right? We bring them out. Eliminate them here. 1, 1. We reduce them by 1. They become 0. We add a score up here. We push them in here. So, what is the heap now? What is the max heap now? We only have 2 now. Because no need of pushing 0, right? No need of pushing 0. We cannot reduce them further. So, we only have a 2 now. So, can we go any further with this? No. So whenever our max heap will have only one element in it, we will stop and we will return the total score. So what is the total score here? Total score is 6, right? 4 plus 1 plus 1. So that is how we will do it. Now let's go to the coding part. Okay. So what do we need? First of all, we need a max heap. So let's make a max heap. That is priority queue. Okay. So int data type and let's name it basket again as I always name. So then what we have to do? Okay. Let's increase the size of this. Many students say to increase the size of the code. Okay, so here it is okay so priority queue basket okay now what we have to do we have to insert a b and c that is all the three files into the priority queue so basket dot push a basket dot push b basket dot push c okay done now what we have to do until and unless basket size become one we have to continue the operation okay so while basket dot size not equals to one we have to continue the operation now what we have to do is, okay, so we have to eliminate two maximum elements from the basket at every step, right? So we have to do that. Let's name int left equals to basket dot top and then a basket dot pop. Okay. And int right equals to again, the second maximum element. So basket dot top and basket dot pop, right? Now what we have to do is we have to reduce these two elements by a one, right? So left minus minus right minus minus 
and then what we have to do we have to push again this reduced elements into the priority queue so basket dot push left basket dot push right okay and one more thing we have to keep a check if the left or the right becomes zero we don't push them anymore into the basket okay so we have to keep that check okay if left okay left not equals to zero then only push same thing same thing for right if right not equals to zero then only push and what will be the score let's name answer equals to zero first so every time every time my answer will be incrementing by a value of one okay. so every time my answer will increment by a value of one okay so let's return answer let's try running the code okay so it's running let's try submitting the code okay it's submitted so i hope you understood the solution the intuition and everything behind this video and still if you have any doubts you can comment down below or you can directly reach out to us through linkedin or join our telegram channel we have daily discussion over there and if you really like the video please consider dropping a like subscribing to the channel and share it with your friends so see you guys in the very next video till then stay happy stay healthy bye it's my life it's now or never